another day, another dollar with your homeboy Jermaine and getting this video started off in the city on a Uber Eats order right now. Actually, I better run inside and pick up this order right now. Let's go get this one started. Just picked up the first order. This is a really nice, yum, vegan salad. But uh, let's go drop it off. Super horrible parking job. At this next Uber Eats pickup now, item's not ready. The guy said this is gonna be another five minutes. So far this morning, I've only accepted Uber Eats orders. I kinda wanna sign online with Caviar, but the thing with Caviar is I noticed that you spend a lot more time waiting at restaurants. Now the payouts are slightly higher on Caviar. I've also noticed I can complete more deliveries per hour on Uber Eats. That's not the case for every shift and every day. Some days I can complete more gigs on Caviar. It just really depends. There's less traffic, there's a lot more deliveries coming in, and it's just a lot easier to get around the city on Sundays. Another cool thing about Sundays, you don't have to pay for parking. If you come up to the parking meter and check it out, what do you see? Free parking. What's free in San Francisco? And just picked up this Uber Eats order and I know someone from Uber is probably watching this video. And one thing I wanna say is you guys put us on this whole, you know, rating system where I have to accept X amount of deliveries and I have to, you know, have an acceptance rating of whatever, whatever. You do the same thing to the riders, okay? Riders have to have a decent rating as well. You need to do that to the restaurants. You really need to do that to the restaurants. Some restaurants are okay to pick up from. Other restaurants are not. Some restaurants just suck. They make you wait every single time. On Uber's platform, you can't pick and choose. You have to accept deliveries so your acceptance rating can be decent. Uber, you guys need to start judging the freaking restaurants. Just like you judge the riders, just like you judge the drivers. You need to start judging the restaurants because some of these restaurants suck. This last restaurant where I just picked up from, and we should be able to like leave a comment about restaurants. Uber, I think that would give you guys a lot of data about restaurants and what it's like to go to some of these restaurants and just what carriers experience at some of these restaurants. And it'd be kind of nice for you guys to have it all jotted down, you know? This restaurant really sucks. Finally dropping this order off from the restaurant. Just have to remind myself to um, give that restaurant a thumbs down. I wonder, does Uber ask a question? Yep, long wait, I'm gonna say that. Very long wait, get it right, man. I don't mind waiting if I can get paid. Oh, I gotta push this button. And it's just waiting outside, sitting in the car for like 10 minutes, because if you do 20 deliveries in the course of a day, those five and 10 minutes can add up to an hour. And that hour could, you know, be 25 bucks that you're not getting. First floor. First floor. Going on last up here. This one? This building is a maze. Creepy. Whole Foods right now for a quick pit stop. Order some french fries. Yeah, this Whole Foods you can actually order stuff from, unlike a lot of other Whole Foods that I've been to. And another cool thing about this Whole Foods is they have sparkling water. Yeah, there's a machine right over there where you can just get sparkling water. Sparkling water is pretty nice when it's free. And I was able to fill my swell bottle too at the same time. Computer time. Out of Whole Foods now. Just jumped back in the car. Already went online with Uber Eats. Just accepted an order. I'm on the way to pick that order up. I don't know, let's see where this one's going. I tell you, everybody must be hungover today. I'm just delivering juice like all day. Just finished the last Uber Eats order. Now I think I'm gonna go meet up with uh, Mike Dean. If you guys don't know Mike Dean, I've, I believe I've mentioned him in my videos a couple times. He is the first rideshare driver ever. And uh, yeah, I'm about to go meet up with him really fast. We'll probably chit chat for a little bit. And yeah, we'll call it that on that. I'm like meeting this guy down at Daly City and look at this traffic on the way to Daly City. Now I'm down here in Daly City, supposed to meet my friend Mike Dean. And I, I asked him, I said, yo, where you want to meet? He said, let's meet at the Uber office, because he had to come down to the Uber office. So I'm here at the Uber office, 
And when he told me let's meet at the Uber office, I was thinking, dude, it's like Sunday. Like, Uber office is not going to be open. And he's like, yeah, 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 they're open, they're open. Let's just meet there. And, uh, yeah, they're not open and Mike is nowhere to be found. Maybe he just stood me up. Now it's, what, 641. Haven't really been working. Just, you know, talking on the phone, catching up with folks, that sort of thing. Let's go head back to Oakland now. I can't find a better time to go than now. Go home and order some Uber Eats and get ready for tomorrow's adventure. Back at the house now, just placed an Uber Eats order and something very, very interesting I noticed. Certain restaurants are surging. Remember how Uber X would surge? Like a regular $5 ride would cost like, you know, 10 bucks or seven bucks or 12 bucks or whatever. Yeah, they're doing that to the restaurants now. Yes, food's almost here. I'm about to eat. So happy. Today was, uh, today was on the slow side, I would say. From, if you're in the Bay Area and you worked on Sunday, let me know in the comments if it was uh, if it was slow for you or if it was busy. I kind of feel it was slow. I was jamming out majority on the Uber Eats. I didn't do many caviar orders. Caviar had bonuses almost every hour yesterday because it was raining like crazy. Now today it was no rain and caviar had their normal bonuses, but they still had this special bonus of um, complete 20 deliveries and get $50 bonus. Yesterday seemed to be a little slow on caviar. I believe a lot of people were signed online with caviar just to do the 20 trips, just to get the $50 bonus. I mean, it is a really good deal. Whenever there's really good incentives like that or really, really big incentives like that, it, it just brings everyone out of the woodworks. It's just like when Uber says, you know, work and get $50 an hour guaranteed. You only have to complete two trips an hour. You may go a whole hour and just do one trip because every driver and their mama is out driving trying to, you know, do two trips an hour so they can get $50 an hour. And what usually ends up happening is a lot of people don't make the required number of trips so they don't receive the bonus. And, you know, it just kind of sucks. And I think that's kind of how it is with caviar. However, I will say, like, it, if I would have stayed out all day with caviar, I would have got to 20 trips. Knock out a couple of double orders and that'll help you get to 20 trips pretty quick. Am I calling trips on caviar? I meant deliveries. It doesn't matter, trips, deliveries. It's the same thing. You guys know what I'm talking about. Earlier, I was talking about how I didn't want to do a lot of deliveries on caviar because I'd spent so much time waiting at the restaurant and it's like the same thing happened on Uber Eats. Uber Eats. <laughs> Maybe I'll get to try Uber Eats and um, some more cities pretty soon. Back in the YouTube room now and I would, you know, show you guys the YouTube room but uh, it looks a wreck right now. Right now I am packing my bag. I'm going out of town for the next couple days. Don't worry, I'm definitely taking the camera with me so you guys will tag along for the adventure. Um, the next couple days should be a lot of fun. Um, I have something planned on Tuesday. For now, I'm just you know packing up clothes and trying to figure out what I want to take, what I want to wear for the next couple days. It's kind of nice to leave the Bay Area. Um, recently, it's been raining and it's been cold. It's been windy. I haven't seen the sun much. I am traveling to a destination where it is a whole lot sunnier. I'm pretty stoked about that. I don't know what to take. I mean, I'm just gonna take a whole bunch of random stuff, like grab like three pairs of jeans and grab some shorts and grab some swim shorts and, you know, just cram it all in my bag, grab some tripods, take a whole bunch of memory cards, take an external hard drive, you know, just put it all in a bag, stick it in the car, take off. Let's do the dang thing. I just found this aux cable. I wonder if this will work for my own um, Dre Beats. Yes, 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 these headphones work. I cannot hear myself speak because they're so loud. So I hope I'm loud or I hope I'm not too loud. All right, that's about all she wrote. Let me turn these headphones down. There we go. All right, so now I think I'm gonna just kind of get ready to finish packing my bags that I have not shown you guys because this room is a mess. And then I'm gonna 
maybe have a quick bite to eat and then lay down and get ready for tomorrow's adventure. Like I said, tomorrow's gonna be really, really fun. Um, the next couple days should be really, really fun. I know where I'm going the next couple days, but I don't know how long I'm gonna stay there. I could stay there for like three days or I could stay there for a week. I won't know until after I get there and who knows, I may go somewhere else after there. I don't know, this doesn't really make a lot of sense. Just stay tuned to tomorrow's video and I'm sure you'll learn all about it. Thanks a lot for watching. Peace.